Now take out your Reading Street Reading Book 2.1 and turn to page 156. The Strongest One Retold as a Play by Joseph Bruchek from Pushing Up the Sky Illustrated by David Diaz Characters Narrator Mouse Little Red Ant Cat Second Ant Stick Third Ant Fire Fourth Ant Water Snow Deer Sun Arrow Wind Big Rock House Scene 1 Inside the Ant's Hole On a darkened stage, the ants crouch together. Narrator Little Wren Ant lived in a hole under the big rock with all of its relatives. It often wondered about the world outside. Who in the world was the strongest of all? One day in late spring, Little Red Ant decided to find out. Little Red Ant I am going to find out who is strongest. I am going to go outside and walk around. Second Ant Be careful. We ants are very small. Something might step on you. Third Ant Yes, we are the smallest and weakest ones of all. Fourth Ant Be careful, it is dangerous out there. Little Red Ant I will be careful. I will find out who is strongest. Maybe the strongest one can teach us how to be stronger. Scene 2 The Mesa Ant walks back and forth on stage. Narrator So Little Red Ant went outside and began to walk around. But as Little Red Ant walked, the snow began to fall. Snow walks on stage. Little Red Ant Ah, my feet are cold. This snow makes everything freeze. Snow must be the strongest. I will ask. Snow, are you the strongest of all? No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Sun is stronger. When sun shines on me, I melt away. Here it comes. As sun walks on stage, snow hurries off stage. Little Red Ant Ah, sun must be the strongest. I will ask, sun, are you the strongest of all? Sun No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Wind is stronger. Wind blows the clouds across the sky and covers my face. Here it comes. As wind comes on stage, sun hurries off stage with face covered in hands. Little Red Ant Wind must be the strongest. I will ask. Wind, are you the strongest of all? Wind no, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? House is stronger. When I come to house, I can't move it. I must go elsewhere. Here it comes. As house walks on stage, wind hurries off stage. Little Red Ant House must be the strongest. I will ask. House, are you the strongest of all? House. No, I am not the strongest. Little Red Ant. Who is stronger than you? Mouse is stronger. Mouse comes and gnaws holes in me. Here it comes. As Mouse walks on stage, House hurries off stage. Little Red Ant. Mouse must be the strongest. I will ask. Mouse, are you the strongest of all? Mouse. No. I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Cat is stronger. Cat chases me, 
And if cat catches me, cat will eat me. Here it comes. As cat walks on stage, mouse hurries off stage, squeaking. Little red ant. Cat must be the strongest. I will ask. Cat, are you the strongest of all? Cat. No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Stick is stronger. When stick hits me, I run away. Here it comes. As stick walks on stage, cat hurries off stage, meowing. Little red ant. Stick must be the strongest. I will ask. Stick, are you the strongest of all? Stick. No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Fire is stronger. When I am put into fire, fire burns me up. Here it comes. As fire walks on stage, stick hurries off stage. Little red ant. Fire must be the strongest. I will ask, fire, are you the strongest of all? Fire. No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Water is stronger. When water is poured on me, it kills me. Here it comes. As water walks on stage, fire hurries off stage. Little red ant. Water must be the strongest. I will ask, water, are you the strongest of all? Water. No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Deer is stronger. When deer comes, deer drinks me. Here it comes. As deer walks on stage, water hurries off stage. Little red ant. Deer must be the strongest. I will ask. Deer, are you the strongest of all? Deer. No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Arrow is stronger. When arrow strikes me, it can kill me. Here it comes. As arrow walks on stage, deer runs off stage with leaping bounds. Little red ant. Arrow must be the strongest. I will ask. Arrow, are you the strongest of all? Arrow. No, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? Big Rock is stronger. When I am shot from the bow and I hit Big Rock, Big Rock breaks me. Do you mean the same Big Rock where the red ants live? Yes, that is Big Rock. Here it comes. As Big Rock walks on stage, Arrow runs off stage. Little Red Ant Big Rock must be the strongest. I will ask. Big Rock, are you the strongest of all? Big Rock no, I am not the strongest. Who is stronger than you? You are stronger. Every day you and the other red ants come and carry little pieces of me away. Someday I will be gone. Scene 3. The Ant's Hole Narrator So Little Red Ant went back home and spoke to the ant people. The ants crouch together on the darkened stage. Second ant. Little red ant has returned. Third ant. He has come back alive. Fourth ant. Tell us about what you have learned. Who is the strongest of all? Little red ant. I have learned that everything is stronger than something else. And even though we ants are small, in some ways... We are the strongest of all. Now turn to page 178. Ant Eaters by John Jacobs Have you ever heard of an ant eater? Have you ever seen one? Let's learn more about them. Where do they live? Ant eaters live mostly in South and Central America where there are lots of grasses, swamps, and rainforests. These are the kinds of places where many ants live. Ant eaters explore these grasses, swamps, and rainforests all day, looking for ants to eat. 
What do they look like? The giant anteater, which is the most common, looks like nothing you've ever seen before. It has a bushy tail and a fat body. It has a tiny mouth, small eyes, and small ears. Its most important body parts are its sharp claws and its long, long tongue. Its tongue is almost two feet long. That's as long as two rulers put together. How do they eat? An anteater looks for ants by smelling the ground. When it finds an ant's nest, the anteater breaks it open with its sharp claws. It puts its long tongue down into the nest. Ants stick to the tongue, and the anteater swallows them. The anteater does this over and over, very fast, until it is full. The anteater eats only a small number of ants at a time from any one nest. It does not want to run out of food, but ants beware, it will return.